See, this is the wrap. If we tear apart the skin and the muscle, you can see that you're tearing the fascia. The fascia holds the skin and the muscle together. Then we want to look inside of the wrap. If we hold these ribs open, we see several organs in your thoracic cavity and you have your abdominal pelvic cavity here. The diaphragm separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal pelvic cavity. Here is the heart. And on each side of the heart, you have the lungs. And the lungs lie in the pleural cavity. If you come up to the neck region here, and if you dig enough, <laughs> we'll find the uh, trachea on another one. Okay. This is the liver, this large structure here. Some, it looks blue because some of uh, the blood vessels have like burst whenever they were putting the latex in it. So it's not really usually blue in color. This is mesentery here. It's helping hold the organs together. Lift up these lobes of the liver and you see the stomach. Okay, the stomach is going to lead to the small intestine. So this right here is the small intestine. For this to be a beginning class, for you to identify the small intestines, you need to look for the stomach and the tube that leads out of the stomach is the small intestines. Yes, it does curl around, but um, like I said, for this beginning class, you don't have to worry so much about that. Eventually, the small intestines is going to come to the large intestines. The first part of the large intestines is the cecum. If you look at the cecum, it's a big, large pouch right here. Some people say it looks like a second stomach, but that is the cecum. This example right here of mesentery is really good. You see how it's um, clear and it's holding the organs together again. This is going to be the first part of the large intestine, so the last part of the large intestines comes down and it's going to lead to the rectum. So this descending colon here, for your test, you would identify this as the large intestines. Here are some more of your connective tissues. Here is one kidney, and over here is a second kidney. You can see this blue line here coming down. That's the inferior vena cava. And we should be able to find the red one right beside it, the abdominal aorta. And there it is, right beside it. This is a male rat. So the male reproductive structures are, these are the testes here. And they lie in the scrotal sac. There is the vas deferens. It's the tube that is going to carry, let me clean it out for you. It's the tube that is going to carry the sperm from the testes up into the pelvic cavity. And I think I can find it on the other one a lot easier. We'll get to it over there in just a second. I'll repeat it. In fact, that's it right there. You just can't see it very well. Okay, this is the bladder. This is the prostate gland here. This surrounds the lower portion of the bladder. These little curly little structures here are the seminal vesicles. Okay, so let's switch over to this other rat for just a second, just to show you. Okay. okay, this is another male rat. You can see that the coloring is just slightly different, but if you look at the overall structure, you can pretty much tell what everything is. So let's go over it real fast. This is the trachea here. It's the white structure, and it looks like little rings are on it. If you look posterior to the trachea, this little structure here is I the esophagus. The camera. There you go. This structure here is the esophagus. Not the blue line, the um, light, yeah, light brown line. That's the esophagus there. It's, it lies posterior to the trachea. You see the heart. You see the lungs. Um, all of this is the thoracic cavity. Here is the diaphragm here. It's been cut away. It has to be cut away so that you can actually open it up and see something. This is the liver. Um, so if you move the liver up, you have the stomach. The stomach leads to the small intestines here. I think you can see it better on the other wrap, but that's the small intestines. We need to look at the spleen. We kind of lay the organs here. You see that brown, long, straight thing right there. That's the spleen. And if you look at what is attached to the spleen, a lot of it looks like mesenteries, but if you look a little bit closer, 
you can see that this structure here has a lot of light brown in it, light brown in it. Actually, it has a lot of red latex in it too. But let's look over here just real fast again. See this brown like right here? It's mixed in with the mesentery. That's part of your pancreas. Um, let me look and see how much of the pancreas we can see. Actually, we see quite a bit of it. You see it going. Let me get a pen. Okay. If you look at it, here's the um, spleen here. The pancreas is attached here, so you see the lighter brown structures here. And this, this white here is kind of a fat tissue or a mesentery kind of mixture. So this is the pancreas here. And you can see that it's very thin. It has a lot of mesentery in it. It's just a gland, so it's very tender, but it's attached way over here to your small intestine. So all of this right here would be the pancreas, all of it that looks like this material right here. Okay, let's go back to our second. Here is your small intestines. Here's that big, large cecum again over here in the middle of the intestines. So that's the first part of the large intestines. You raise it up, you can see that this is the kidneys, or these are the kidneys. This is the last part of the large intestines. This right here has um, connective tissue over the inferior vena cava. And there is the abdominal aorta right beside it in pink. It's supposed to be red, but it's pink. Okay, these are the seminal vesicles here, the little curly things. This is the bladder, this is the prostate gland. This is the testy here that sits in the scrotal sac. And this white tube here leading from, you can see that it goes all the way down from the bottom of the testes all the way up to the pelvic cavity. It carries sperm. That's the vas deferens. Okay, that's the male. The urethral orifice. Oh, yes. The urethral orifice is the opening from the urethra. And this is the urethral orifice right here. It's located here. The anus, lift up the testes and you have the anus right here, right at the base of the tail. Okay, this is the female rat. This is the trachea here. Trachea here, the white rings on it look like a vacuum cleaner. This is the esophagus lying just posterior to it. We've gotten it out so many times, it looks like it lies beside it. Here's the heart, and here are the lungs on each side of the heart. The lungs lie in the pleural cavity. Then we have this structure here, the diaphragm, this thin muscle flap here. It's been cut away so that you can actually open up the wrap, but it is going to separate the thoracic cavity from the abdominal pelvic cavity here. This large structure here is the liver, and there's several lobes of the liver. So if we lift up the liver, you see the stomach is here. If you follow the stomach where the food's going to go from the stomach into the small intestines, so this tube right here would be the small intestines. This um, rat right here has a really good pancreas on it. You can see this is the spleen over here to the side, and this structure here is the pancreas. You see that it goes all the way here, all okay. the way over to it the small focus. intestines. I'm sorry? I lost focus. There we go. Okay. It goes all the way from the spleen, all the way over here to the small intestines. So this is all of the pancreas here. It's a really good picture of it in this rat. Okay. This large structure here in the middle of the intestines is the cecum, which is the first part of the large intestines. If you uh, raise up all of the intestines, you see that this descending colon here, that would be the last part of the large intestines, so that would be identified on your test as the large intestines. You have the kidneys on each side. Here's one kidney over here. Here's one kidney here. It looks like it's underneath that liver. And here's the other kidney. Okay, if this is the bladder in the pelvic cavity. Here's the uterine horn. I do not believe you have to know uterine horn on your test, but you do need to know this is the ovary up here at the top of that uterine horn. So it's got a lot of tissues and things like that around it, but it's um, specifically the ovary is that little brownish ball right here at the top. Come on um, down into the pelvic cavity, and we have our openings. We have the urethral orifice, the vaginal orifice, and the anus located here. And that's it.